the last four years when we've brought you gardens from the four corners of Oklahoma, we've always featured some of the natural areas and some of the native plants from these regions. Well, the south central part of Oklahoma is also a place where we have some beautiful natural scenery and some unique plant species. Well, here to tell us a little bit more about this particular area is botanist biologist Kim Shannon. Hey, Kim, welcome back to the show. Hey, Steve, good to be here. Well, Kim, this is an incredible place here. What, what, what is this place called? We're here at Devil's Den uh, in Johnston County along Pennington Creek, and we're within the Arbuckle Uplift. Okay, and uh, the creek is just gorgeous. I mean, the, the white water, the, the waterfalls, and the sound, it's just really, really uh, an incredible place here. Yes. And the, the granite helps keep the water so clean. Um, it's unlike any other stream system in Oklahoma. And this area, the way I understand it, is uh, privately owned. That's right. The Bruno family um, has been here on the property about for the last 10 years or so. And a long time ago, this was a, a park that people could come to during the day, but it hasn't been open to the public for many years, and it's being restored and protected now by the Brunos. Okay, and there's, there's really a good reason for that. Uh, there would be too much of an impact if there were uh, lots of people in this area. The, the, uh, the quality would, would probably deteriorate. Right. Between the, the water and some of the little microclimates within the granite boulders, um, little areas where you find sedums and things, it, foot traffic just doesn't do it any good. Okay, but the Brunos are nice enough to uh, let us come and uh, show it to everyone yep. on our program, and they also do some tours for school groups and things like that. Right. They're very interested in you know, making sure that kids are able to come and see it, and people that are interested just they can have the luxury of being able to, to pick and choose and let us still see it and enjoy it. All right. Well, I hear there is a plant that grows in this area that is really unique. Can you tell us about that? Right. We have the, here along Pennington Creek and part of Blue River, we have the seaside alder, uh, which is Alnus meridima, bit of a oxymoron. Here in the south, you know, central part of the United States, we have this Coastal seaside name. plant. So seaside, yeah. Exactly. Uh, typically found in largest populations in Delaware and parts of Maryland in the Chesapeake Bay area. And then we have this very disjunct population here in south central Oklahoma. Don't know why it's here. Don't. We do know it's been here since about 1872 for sure. Um, that's one of the first documented um, pieces of information we have about the plant. Um, and in recent years, there's been another small population found in Georgia, okay. in western Georgia. So who knows if there's more between here and there, but how it got here and why there isn't more of it between here and the Chesapeake Bay, just don't know. Bizarre. Yep. And just two counties in Oklahoma. Yep, Johnston County and Pontotoc County along the Blue River and Pennington Creek and a few of their tributaries. Well, we, we see it right down here along uh, Pennington Creek, the beautiful green, glossy, shiny leaved shrubs, uh, large tree, or excuse me, large shrub, small tree type plant. Right. And uh, it makes a, a, a stunning plant. Yeah. And if uh, we got a branch right here and as we look at it, I see out on the, the end here, it looks like some little green cones and then some, some little brown cones. Yeah, out last here. What's year's going cones on? and this year's cones. And while they look like cones, like something you'd find on an evergreen, they're just very dense little catkins and this is their means of sexual reproduction. The flowering part of the plant? Right, right. It's a flowering plant just, you know, like all our other trees. It just does it in a, a little different way. Okay, and there are all other alder, alder species. Right, southeastern Oklahoma, um, we have uh, another alder species. Okay, the seaside alder, interesting plant. And you were telling me that uh, there, there, there may be some developments in the, the renaming, possibly, of, of the one we have in Oklahoma? Right, there are studies going on, genetic studies, between um, southeastern o OSU and Durant and um, a Iowa State. Um, a professor there that is doing research and trying to see if we have our own distinct Oklahoma species here, which okay. would be very unusual and we would be thrilled to have this, this new species and it, I think it would garner more protection for it. You think it would be named Alnus Oklahomensis? Very likely. Okay, that would, that would be superb. I hope that happens. Me too. Well, right back here, there's another plant that is native to the uh, south central part of Oklahoma and 
also down in southeastern Oklahoma. This is the Polygonella americana, and it's actually a little evergreen shrub or shrublet, and this plant has the world's worst common name. It's called American jointweed. <laughs> Maybe we can think of another common name for this polygonella, and this is in the uh, polygonaceae, and that family name has a common name? Right, the knotweed or the smartweed family named that because of how it has these inflated nodes. They're just very prominent nodes and the little white, the clear looking tissues there are called ochrea. That's specific, it's just a good identifying characteristic of this particular family. Um, many species within the family have that and this one's usually actually a little smaller than some of the different members of the polygonaceae. Okay. Well, this is a plant that, again, has kind of the evergreen foliage and then for a, a large part of the year has beautiful frothy white flowers out here on the terminal ends of the branches. Uh, this one not showing any blooms right now because of the, the dry weather, but you can see how it's growing right here in the, the crack of the, uh, the, the huge granite rock here. And we also find them sometimes in uh, deep sands down here as well. Yeah, there's lots okay. of granite sand all through here too. I'm sure they like it all over this place. They're doing really well. Well, Kim, thank you for telling us about this place. It's a beautiful area. Glad you could come.